Say hello. Yeah. Say thanks, Reuben. Thank you, Reuben. Okay. Definitely a nice piece. Made a C channel. Quarter inch plate. This is quarter inch plate. Wrapped around. Done like this. One inch block, one inch block, with level is. And this is drilled and tapped. Like it might add horizontals on there. And here's the top. Three eighths. Yeah. This ain't going nowhere, that I can tell you. And we're at Jimmy's. piece of metal says in old rack the piece of metal says in old rack I don't know what that means oh. we're good down by the shore they said at Jimmy's channel thick plate I don't know how thick that is and the flat plate and these bent up bases looks like it could be bolted down too okay guys well hold on let's take a two second look at this thing actually uh let me grab the tape measure. Or I run out of video. Because I'm curious what some of the dimensions are on this thing myself. Okay, so the, these plates are quarter inch. That's an inch, and that's an inch. So the feet are an inch by three by ten. The pads that sit on the floor are six by three. Okay, so these would go to the floor. This is the bolt that's used to level it up and down. And then this bolt right here just keeps these two attached so it doesn't fall off it. So you could secure this. Okay, this is not homemade, without a doubt. I don't think it was a welding table, but the base is not homemade. And the reason I say it is the end caps are bent. They're rounded over. Paint-wise, the condition is actually pretty close to excellent. This needs to be cleaned, whatever was on it. Okay, so these are rolled around. These are quarter inch. As you can see, it tapers down. Okay. The beams, which I haven't measured yet, a six inch C channel, six by two. I'm not sure the thickness, I'm not sure how to measure it because it tapers. I never really knew how to measure that. Okay. So you have a beam on both sides, and then this would be the end cap. Obviously, the table's upside down. And the end cap is half inch. So connecting this beam and that beam is a half inch plate. Okay, then you have these are eighth inch. 
not really sure the purpose of these it does tie it together and keep it from racking that's the only thing I could think of but I'm not sure what it was used for um, because it doesn't add any strength to the center of it but regardless you can see the welding that was done um, and I just see a series of triple holes now these three holes are equally spaced so there's a series of them these are not equally spaced to each other all, all down here is then when you get to here there's a bigger space here and a bigger space here so I'm thinking this house is some kind of machine uh, now when we looked at it obviously it was flipped the other way we flipped, put it in here upside down uh, so I'm thinking this house is some kind of machine and then um, somebody had a 3 8 piece of plate cut for it because this plate is 3 8 um, one side of the plate is a little cleaner than the other but both sides just have surface rust on them from sitting now for years so they need a quick DAing. Uh, then I'll have Junior come in here and attach them. Thank God he didn't attach them. We wouldn't have been able to get this thing in here. So the table is five and a half feet in length, two and a half feet this way. And if I'm not mistaken, he said 28 inches tall. I never measured. Yeah, 28 inches tall, which is good on the height because Junior wanted something shorter. And making it taller is a lot easier than making it shorter. So making it tall is just a matter of putting spaces underneath these feet is really all it is um, so with that said we see no damage to it it doesn't seem bent when we looked at it uh, there's no there's no dents in it like I said the paint is really clean on it we're looking at the underside of it uh, what was it used for I have no clue in the world um, this is going to be a sturdy piece, yes. And now, like Junior said, now he's going to have a table that he can actually fabricate his stuff on. Meaning all his welding carts and all his stuff. He really hasn't had anything. Um, I really bought it for myself or for him to use, but either or. So, yeah, going by the pictures, I wasn't sure if this and this were one piece. I assumed it was Seed Channel, even though he told me it was I-beams. And I thought maybe this was C-channel facing the other way, but now I, when I look at it, uh, I can show you better from the back side. Let me show you the other one. I know there's going to be wind. I mean, when you look at it from this side, here's the half-inch plate. Here's the eighth-inch stuff sticking through. And then here's the bottom, which is quarter-inch plate. And then the one-inch feet and the curvature around. And there's the other side where we were just looking. So... Um, like I said, these are here for some kind of reason. It has to be for some kind of racking reasons or whatever it is. Um, I don't picture those two beams spreading, but I don't know what's sat on top of this thing. I have no idea in the world. So, uh, with that said, I think we did pretty good. Um... Like Ruben said, when Ruben talked to the guy, when Ruben talked to me, Ruben went and looked at this for me. It seemed like the guy just needed it out of there. And I agree. I'm going to close the other door. His garage was, there was a front half and a back half. And he explained to us that he was tearing down the back half. Due to structural problems, the roof was too flat, it was leaking, the walls were rotting. You know, he was, he was explaining why, and he just didn't have the room for it anymore. So... This thing was listed on Facebook for uh, $200 on make best offer. So considering I live no way near him, that makes it kind of hard to haggle. So we talked back and forth about it. I got the measurements and stuff like that. And I asked him if he would take $175. And he said, sure. And uh, that's when me and Ruben spoke. Or we spoke actually before that. And Ruben went and looked at it to make sure it was what it was supposed to be. And Ruben paid the gentleman for me. Um, so now i got to take care of Ruben. Um, but the funny part was, is Ruben went there a couple days later. That was when they you know, made the appointment. And the guy dropped the price down to 150 So he must have just saw Ruben and got intimidated. That's what, that's what I figure happened. But either or... 
I consider this thing a good score for that money. So I think this is going to serve us all well for a long time. Long, long time. I told Junior, so we'll set it up in the middle of the garage. So we'll level it off so the top isn't racked at all. Level in every direction. And they said, then he could tack the top on. And then we'll decide how he wants to weld it on. So I want to make it so I can put my vise on here too. I'm thinking of uh, drilling and tapping the holes for my vise. I got a big vise. So the vise can come off in case the project gets too big. <coughs> but if not, the vise could stay on there. So, and then we'll come up with some kind of wheel system. It's not definitely, I made the mistake on the other card. It's not going to sit on wheels. It's going to have wheels that'll come down when you need to move it. And then it'll come back on the left one blocks. Yeah, that was um, not the best way of doing it for a welding cart. But for a mobile cart, the other way is good. But this one's not going to sit on wheels. It's going to sit just the way you see it, but not upside down. So I think we did good. Like I said, half inch plate, six inch C iron, quarter inch uprights, one inch feet, you know, bent. You know what I mean? Um, this is definitely not homemade. This was had a purpose. I just don't know what it is. I'm gonna actually ask the guy if he knew it. I never asked him if he knew what the base was from. So, and I will tell you, it's heavy. We had a plate sock to put in. Um, it took the three of us to lift us comfortably in. And I'm still a pain in the ass. It wasn't for the plate to slide on. It really would have sucked. But if you put these two together, <laughs> it's staying wherever you put it. <laughs> okay, guys. I am out of here.